Hey guys, it's DVD Gamer Girl here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it it's kind of been a while since I've posted. Um, for kind of a multiple reasons, I'll update you guys on why I haven't posted in a while at the end of this video if you're interested. Um, but for now, I just want to go ahead and get into the video. So I did see this on TikTok like last week and I was wondering if it was real or not. Um, and then today it finally dropped on the actual DVD YouTube channel. So now I know that it's real. Um, but I saw that they are coming out with a DVD story mode sometime. And I think this is going to be really interesting because this is going to be by the same studio that developed Until Dawn and some of the other similar games like that. And DVD story mode is something that I've kind of always thought would be really cool. Um, so I just wanted to react to their trailer about it um, and share my thoughts. So let's watch this. Hi, I'm Stephen Mulroney, Executive Vice President of Digital at Behavior Interactive. As someone who's been on Dead by Daylight since the very beginning, it's been amazing to see the ways both the game and its community have grown over the past seven years. Today, I'm happy to announce we're gearing up to expand Dead by Daylight beyond our core game. Finally! Giving players more ways into the fog than ever before, even if you're completely new to the world of Dead by Daylight. To bring these new experiences to life, we're collaborating with some amazing studios. I do feel like if they do bring a story mode into this game, it will pull in a lot of new people that are probably not into multiplayer or PvP type games, so this is actually a really good move for them. One with experience in multiplayer games, and another with expertise in interactive narratives. So with that, let's hear a little bit I more about I love interactive games. narrative games, that's my favorite. <laughs> We're obviously all horror fans here at Supermassive and massive fans of Dead by Daylight. Now we're thrilled to be collaborating with Behaviour on a brand new single player interactive story game set in the terrifying omniverse. I think Dead that'll be Daylight. really fun. We've been working hard to blend the tension, agency, and branching storytelling of a Supermassive game together with Dead by Daylight's mythology to create an intense narrative experience filled with powerful life or death choices. I do like that they say that they're going to take into account the DVD mythology because it'll be cool to see like all of the original characters that we kind of know and love with their backstories. Um, so I think this will be really cool. And like the powerful life or death choices. And I really like that interactive storytelling thing. I have actually not played Until Dawn because if I'm not mistaken, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Um, but I did just recently start playing Little Hope and I absolutely love that game. It's been like really fun, um, to play that. So I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing how they incorporate that style into DVD. Our game will be set outside the entity's realm and feature the story of a new cast of characters who players will follow for an unprecedented experience beyond the fog. This is a whole new way for horror fans to experience Dead by Daylight and we couldn't be more excited to share it with the world. So stay tuned, we'll have more to reveal later this year. I wonder when it's gonna come out, like it's been soon years or <laughs> years from now. To work on a brand new project set in the Dead by Daylight universe. One of the things we love most about the world of Dead by Daylight is the infinite possibilities. We thought about the game's multiplayer action, which we love, and reimagined it in a completely new way. The themes in our game will center around greed and the lust for power. Interesting. These will be present in both the gameplay itself and in the stories of the characters who were tempted to enter a strange new corner of the entity's realms. I wonder why greed and lust for power, because I feel like, you know, most of the killers and survivors don't really have that. I mean, I'll, I mean, some of them do, but I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Interesting. Um... Our vision theme. is to create a multiplayer PvE experience PvE? Okay. where instead of facing off against each other, up to four players can team up, enter another one Ooh, of the nice. co -op. and take on a host of deadly enemies that occupy it. This project is still in very early stages. We are really Okay, so it's probably going to be a while. Wait to share more as we go. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> very <Seven> vague. In, <laughs> Dead by Daylight has never felt bigger. I'm so excited that players will have two new ways to explore the entity's realm. There's a lot of work to do before we'll have more news to share, but just follow Dead by Daylight and we'll make sure you're the first to know. 
So to me then, it sounds like there's going to be two separate games, one from Supermassive, which will be the single player narrative based game that they talked about. Um, and the second one would be from Midwinter Entertainment, which will be the multiplayer PvE game. He did say at the end that there will be two new ways to experience the DVD universe. I am excited for both of these potential options, but I'm like, you know, a huge fan of interactive story games. Um, and I just feel like that is right up my alley. So that combined with the DVD universe, I think will be really interesting and will probably, you know, kind of reinstill an interest in DVD for me because I've kind of like been over it a little bit um, recently. I kind of want to read some of the comments. Finally, a game that will take place in the DVD universe. I'm excited. I hope we can explore lore of killer and survivors. That would be so dope. I definitely agree with that. Um, imagine a story lore for each killer and survivor. I mean, that would be cool to be able to play out their backstory. Supermassive and Behavior is the most perfect collab I can think of. Until Dawn and The Quarry are hidden gems of horror. Those are games I really wanted to play. The closest I've gotten to it, like I said before, is Little Hope, but I absolutely love that game so far, so I am very sure that I would enjoy Until Dawn, and it's always been on my list to play. I gotta admit, they did a pretty good job so far. Of course, there's gonna be at least one comment like that. <laughs> Damn, this comment, these comments remind me there are other people out there who genuinely like this game. <laughs> I guess that's easy to forget. Um... 231, he doesn't really look that excited. I'm so excited to have two new ways to explore the- <laughs> Okay, that just cracked me up. Um, yeah, he doesn't really look that excited. But anyways, I am excited for this. I think it'll be cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this coming up. I hope it comes out soon. I have no idea when it's slated for. If you have any idea, let me know. Um, I think this will be fun. Uh, so anyways, the reason that I have been gone for so long is just, you know, a variety of things. I really did lose interest in DVD, um, playing it. And when you don't enjoy playing a game, it's really hard to, you know, make videos on that subject. So I kind of, you know, lost motivation for a little bit there to make DVD videos and some other games I've been really into recently was Hogwarts Legacy and now recently Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm a huge Zelda fan. I have always been. That's like my number one a gaming series of all time. So I have been absolutely obsessed with that game <laughs> and I have been way more active on TikTok than YouTube recently, so if you're at all interested, you can follow me there. Um, I'll put my tag here. But I don't know. I just kind of lost motivation a little bit for YouTube. Um, not to say that I'm not going to continue making videos, but I, I probably will. I might just change up my content a little bit, but I'm still trying to decide what I, what I want to do with my channel. Um, but in the meantime, you can definitely see what I'm up to over on TikTok. Um, yeah, I've just been playing some other games. Uh, I did get COVID. <laughs> I got over it. I'm finally starting to feel better now. Uh, I hope you guys have been doing great. Let me know in the comments how you all are, what type of videos that you would like to see from me, what other games that you're into apart from DVD, what you think about this announcement. I would love to catch up with you guys. Um, anyways, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope to be back soon and a little bit more consistent, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.